PNZ Suite a tool package to convert 3D tech passes. It helps to convert different position, normal and Z-depth data. In version 1.5 added normal camera space to screen space. So it totally has 6 nodes in this tool set. Convert PNZ is a tool for self-data conversion. Select different input data types and the input name on the node will be changed. P2Z, position to Z depth. If invert depth has been checked, it will update on label. So should be simply to know on DAG. P2N, position to normal. Using position data to estimate and output normal data. This one is using Blink script, so it won't work on non-commercial nuke. Camera space normal to screen space normal. This one is new on version 1.5. It converts camera space normal to screen space normal with the camera's angle of view. I will show you later in this video. Z2P, Z depth to position. Convert depth data to position data. Z2N, Z depth to normal. Using the same method as P2N. Using depth and camera to find the position, then estimate and output normal data. This one is also using Blink script, so it won't work on non-commercial nuke. Okay, let's walk through these nodes. If the node has no required data from input, it will warn on the screen. Input of all PNZ nodes will tell you what data you have to feed in. All you have to do is shuffle the data channel to RGB, and make sure you have alpha on input. If the tech has data promoted, please unpromote it first. Some of the tech has data required camera data to work with, so select the same camera render with this pass and click link to selected camera. If your camera has another transformation stack on top, it works too. And that's why I use this TCL method to link the camera. So after that, you have to tell the tool what data from input, and what data do you want on output. Like the example here, I have world space position, so I selected camera space position for my output. And this is the camera space position. After that, shuffle this pass back to your tree if you need to do so. Same on normal, convert it to a different space. This one can do a little trick for relight. If you use normal to relight, you can link to any nodes with matrix knobs. You will find this dialog, it's because this light node is missing some knobs that should be in camera. This dialog just for some companies has their in-house camera node but not the same knob name as Noop default camera node. We try to link to light nodes right now, so it's okay. This method we only need the matrix data. So you can find that the normal has converted to light space now, and you can control the lighting from the normal pass as a mask. This is actually how directional light works with normal real light. If you want more options of the light, such as spotlight and point light, you will need to work together with position. For depth, this tool gives an option to invert the data. to Z, use position convert to Z depth. Same as other nodes, shuffle the position data to RGB, make sure you keep the alpha. Unpromote the position data if it's promoted. This depth pass data is the same as scan line renders depth channel. Check the invert depth, then you can get a direct distance, which is the same as deep data. P2N, use position convert to normal. This node estimates the surrounding pixels and finds the normal value. So it could have artifacts on edges and very thin objects. If you use this to relight the core surface, it should be fine. And also, if your position pass came out from scanline render, you might find it doesn't look smooth enough. That's because the subdivision is not enough. Higher resolution of your 3D geo will get a better result. There is not much data that can be converted from normal data. 
This is the only node for normal conversion, and it comes handy if you need Fresnel to work with, as known as facing ratio in Maya. Then cam to and screen, which is camera space normal convert to screen space normal. Camera space means the camera position is the origin of the data, and the Z is facing the camera direction. The camera space will miss the angle of view. Screen space will include the camera frustum and calculation. So you can find that all the spheres have the same normal as the one in the center of the screen. The blue channel is the most useful for Fresnel and easiest to spot the difference. Because of that, this node also has an option to select Fresnel output. Z2P, Z depth to position. Depth data with camera transformation can produce 3D coordinate data. This is a world space position. Z2N, Z depth to normal. This one is using the same method as P2N, calculating the surrounding position pixel and calculating the normal data. So it could have artifacts on edges and very thin objects. If you use this to relight the core surface, it should be fine. If you are working with deep, you can use Deep2VP to convert deep to position. And use Deep2VP's DVP set light to output an estimated normal from a deep position. And after that, you can find a position data store in a deep position channel. Normal store under deep normal channel. Keep in mind, when using Deep2VP to convert those data, you need to use Deep2VP's DVP to image to output 2D pass. That's because of deep volumetrix characteristic and premolt and premolt reason, so you need a DVP to image to fix that and get those data as what you should get in 2D. Check out the comparison of deep to point, position to point from DVP to image, and position to point from nux deep to image with deep to VP's position pass. You can find a deep to point match to DVP to image point cloud. So here all about PNZ Suite. If you have problems with the tools, you know where to reach me. Enjoy!